Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, my voice is more or less on the brink of dying. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, I did like 10 videos yesterday. It was just madness, the amount of stuff that was coming out. Um, so today has kind of been a recovery day, but I've just absolutely been spammed with this new Sister of Battle article because it's showing off some of the new models for them. And I've got to say, they are just absolutely fan bloody tastic. Some of the best models... I've laid eyes on, and I'm not that much, well, I am a sister fan, but I'm not overly zealous sister fan, um, but boy oh boy, these are absolutely glorious, so let's jump in, let's have a little look at them, and we'll just go through them all. Okay, so I'm going to start with probably the, the biggest model in here, and I, I personally think the greatest looking model um, out of the sister range so far is the Junior um, Irutia. <laughs> I'm probably completely mispronouncing that, but holy emperor of God, it's like a floating sermon of just pure awesomeness, it looks like it's got like um, um, quad metal guns at the bottom, that imperial eagle is just, do you know what it reminds me of, it reminds me of a front of a battle barge, that is how glorious and amazing, it, the, the, just the sculpt of the eagle is, is, is probably the best thing about this model, personally, for me. I know it's like a floaty chapel, like I said. I know it has guns on it. It's got a sister doing something, fire, flames and stuff. But it's all about that glorious, glorious eagle for me. It just It's just the cherry on top of the cake. Now, there's a little more information about the actual person on top of this, and it's the it's the name I couldn't pronounce before, Junior um, um, Irutia. I'm probably just going to call uh, the, uh, this this uh, lady J.E., just to simplify it so I don't trip over my words. So it says, The heroes of the Sisters of Battle aren't just living saints like Celestine among their number, as storied commanders as legendary as any space marine captain. Perhaps foremost among them is Junior Firetia, a canoness superior of the Order of the Martyred Lady with a centerpiece kit so magnificent it rivals any model in the warhammer 40,000 range now we get a little bit more information um about this centerpiece and i call it centerpiece because they call it centerpiece themselves so um as i mentioned at the start of the video uh, the person is called junior F um um uh, erutia or Etihan. i'm just gonna call it je from now on since i'm terrible at doing names so it says the heroes of the sisters of battle aren't just living saints like celestine among their number are story commanders as legendary as any space brain captain perhaps the foremost among them is je a canoness superior of the order of the martyred lady with a centerpiece kit so magnificent it rivals any model in the warmer 40,000 range i would say it it rivals any any warhammer model that goes with aos as well it's it's fantastic. I, I, I just, I absolutely love it. Now, if we actually look at the person who is on the top of this, um, I, I, I do like this model. I like like the little braziers uh, as like a backpack. I like the little iron halo. I like like the little rod of office, staff of office, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like the little hand gesture. What I don't like is the face. Um, sisters of Battle, they're really hit or miss when it comes to their faces. There's one Sisters of Battle face, um, which I always like. I, I think it's the best one because it's a mix between the helmeted version and the face. And I'm a massive fan when it comes to the sisters and their helmets. I'll just put it in the background of the video real quickly right there. Uh, it, like the, the little visors like peaked open and she's like looking through it. I, I, I just love that. I think I think that is definitely the best face, um, uh, best way to do it when you come to the sisters. I'm sure people like the faces. I, 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 I'm not saying I hate all the faces. Some faces I like, but just that one, I don't know. She looks very gone and a little bit out of place. She doesn't seem that heroic. She looks like she's... She's about to die because she's not at that much. Anyway, moving on to uh, more of this model. Let's look at the stairs. Catherine, Dominica, Arabella, Lucia, Mina, and Silvana are all on the stairs. They're probably, like, I don't know, uh, successors to her or something like that. Or maybe, sorry, she's a successor to them. And those are the names um, that have been marked there. Or maybe they're just, like, certain type of saints or heroes to the sisters and stuff. Um, if we uh, move on to, of course, the glorious eagle once again. Ah, my holy emperor. That eagle is just sheer awesomeness. Do you know one of the first things I thought when I saw this model? It was like, okay, yeah, it's an awesome model. It looks amazing. But I thought, I, I want to buy it just to sling her off it and put Chapter Master Varak on it so he could just stand there watching over all the glorious Imperial Fist as they march past on towards battle to destroy the Iron Warriors one 
more glorious time. And the article previews some new champions as well. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a Hospitala. Um, this is like a new um, hero supporting character. Again, the character design of these are completely knocking it out of the park. Um, this 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 whole sister range is absolutely fabulous. I've I I, I can't really fault it in any way. Um, again, you could probably bring up the faces here and there, but more or less like the design, the poses, everything about it. It it, it I I personally think it's going back to like that aesthetic where it's so ridiculous where it shouldn't exist but it should exist because it's warhammer 40,000 and it is ridiculous and it all makes sense just how it looks and how people act in that universe it's magnificent i absolutely love it that goes along with the, the new um, um uh, banner bearer as i like to call them as well just the pose of like a hand outwards like the emperor the faith and stuff like that this is like the little tidbits which i love about models because the sisters are all about the faith in the emperor they're all about more or less the imperial religion everything what goes along with it and the banner itself like the painting of like the marble effect it ugh. It's got, it's absolutely gorgeous. The person who painted these, of course, they're, they're always going to be top of the range when it comes to it because it's GW's, you know, main painters and stuff. But they are, the models along with the paint jobs they're putting out is just completely knocking out the park. Amazing, amazing models. I'm very, very tempted to actually buy some of these for my 40k forces but I, you know me by now i'm so dedicated to my last wall i'm sticking to it maybe once the last wall has been completed i can do a little small sister detachment to follow my sons of dawn into battle they even shown off a brand new cannon well i say a brand new cannon s it's a multi-part cannon s and as you can see you can have it with a different vary of weapons one is like with a big brazier one if it was with like a, a chainsaw metal gun one is a power sword bolt pistol one is like this kind of uh, mace with a a, a a skull in between it's like a kind of like a crozius kind of thing and she's got like a crossbow bolter which is always awesome because what is better than having a bolter adding a crossbow on top of that bolt as well to perch all with the bloody heretics and mutants and everything like that again fantastic models and one of the things that really stands out on this for me is the bases because the bases are very very themed on this and i absolutely like a lot of people don't like theme bases but i love when gw do it they started off doing it with aos and they're slowly incorporating it a bit more into 40k and i, I love it I, I love having these like uh, stone ruined bases and adding all the stuff on it my custodians and stuff are all themed on that like kind of ruins and stuff so these guys would probably well i say these guys um these uh, girls will probably fit perfect into um my force it, yeah it'd, it'd be fantastic and more what they're showing off is actual squads of the sisters now um again fantastic the posing the style uh the cherubs which absolutely scare me but i'll just give it them because cherubs and stuff that banner bearer that is carrying like a box in a box yeah fantastic multi melters you got like all like all like the little doves and stuff like flying off this is what i mean like by the theme bases and stuff i i, I love all that kind of stuff it, it looks great it really does look great we 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 knew this was coming now for what more than a year that the sister range was going to be fully updated and they haven't missed out on the hype one bit it's been going 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 and i'm so glad to see it all coming together at this final furlong and it looks fantastic hopefully hopefully this is me just being greeter that there's more to come there's a lot more to come i'm, I'm thinking maybe Maybe different new vehicles and stuff like that maybe they're keeping a few things back at this moment in time but it, I, I gotta say it's fantastic absolutely love it gw for me has completely knocked it out of the park when it comes to this sister range now there's one thing that they actually didn't show off in the article which i noticed in the image is the heavy bolter sister and i think this is probably one of the best models i was like okay the heavy bolter is there the image went through it all i we couldn't find the heavy bolter i was like oh okay then but yeah i love the pose there's actually two of them there's one at the top uh, next to one of the batter bearers and there's one at the bottom and they I, I think they have different i'm not too sure i think i think it might be the same pose but yeah heavy bolters sisters there's a new model as well which wasn't featured in this article and again it it looks fantastic it looks nice and um i absolutely love it all right chaperunios that is me done for another video i'm gonna go take a rest now because my throat feels like it's about to jump out my neck pack its bags and leave me for good right tell me what your thoughts feedback everything as we always discuss about on these videos do you like it do you hate it what do you love the most what do you hate the most is anyone else thinking of kit bashing that giant eagle throne and making it their like hq kind of you know 
uh, throne for their for, for their captains, their chapter masters, or maybe something else when it comes to another faction or army. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do think I'm just going to buy that day one and just turn it into something more amazing just for me. Right, I'm done. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching once again. I'll see you all very, very soon. See you now, and bye-bye.